So recently, a feminist hit piece on the Resident Evil franchise just was published by TheGamer.com in an article entitled, Resident Evil 4 No Longer Sexualizing Women Is a Good Thing. The article was written by Jade King, and wow, there is a lot in this article that's just blatantly incorrect and sounds like it's coming from someone who has not only never played a Resident Evil game before, but if they have, they severely did not enjoy it and now are only acting like a fan to impose their worldview on an audience that doesn't really want it or need it. First of all, she directly contradicts herself in the first paragraph stating, Ashley is 20 in canon, then proceeds to say the game implies she's a teenager in over her head. I don't know if anyone needs to tell Jade King this, but 20 is not a teenager. But like, there's so much else wrong in this paragraph that it just quickly gets drowned out by the most uneducated take in the world on Resident Evil. She directly says that the series views women as tools for sexualization and inferior to their male counterparts, while also going on to say that the Resident Evil 4 remake is making it abundantly clear that women deserve agency in a franchise where it has long been denied. I don't even know what any of that means. This is, again, clearly coming from someone that's never played the games. Let's go back in time to 1996 for a minute. Resident Evil, since its inception, has always been the most inclusive franchise in the industry, always giving the option to play as a male or female lead, each with their own equal importance to the plot, with their own set of gameplay, pros and cons that equal each other out. Quite frankly, if you want to go this far, Jill is if anything more powerful than Chris was in the original game, as she had access to a grenade launcher, extra inventory slots, and even a lockpick to open up a bunch of doors that Chris needed to go and find keys for. And if you don't want to take my word for it, why don't you take thegamer.com's word for it? Yeah, believe it or not, they actually not only published this article, but they also have another article up on their website that actually explains all of this. Isn't that crazy? Resident Evil Zero. Rebecca is able to craft herbs and combine them together, and Billy isn't able to. But Billy made up for it in strength, as Chris did in Resident Evil 1, where he was able to take more hits. Resident Evil has always been the master of including men and women as not only valuable assets and characters, but also showcases both their strengths and weaknesses of each character. So to go as far to say that women have been nothing but sexualized tools that have never gotten free agency in this franchise is in it not only an extremely poor take, quite frankly, falls into the category of just borderline misinformation and slander. She also goes on to attack the over-sexualized outfits and claims that they only did this with women and that men were always muscular, covered with armor and stuff like that. Uh, excuse me, but in the original Resident Evil 2, Leon literally has a tank top outfit that he's running around in the sewers getting shot at and bit all the time. And then, if you really want to go into the outfits, let's just talk about Chris's warrior outfit from Resident Evil 5. Many of you may not know this because it's a very old movie, but Chris's warrior outfit is actually based off of a very hypersexual character from the sequel to Mad Max, The Road Warrior. And if anything, this costume has way heavier implications than any busty cleavage action costume that any women have had in this series. By far. Overall, this article is not only extremely misleading and slanderous towards an entire franchise of games, but now this isn't to slander Miss King's uh, writing career or anything, but this is a very poorly written article and I think maybe she should have gotten a little bit more educated on the topic before taking it on. I know Resident Evil 4 Remake's blowing up right now, so everyone's trying to get a piece of the pie and make their articles on it and make all sorts of videos on it and stuff like that. This was not the way to do it. That's all I'm saying. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. I will have more videos out this week on Resident Evil 4, so stay tuned.